Hey, yo, what is up, guys? It's your boy Tenyon C1, and happy Ramadan. Uh, I hope this month goes well for for all of us. Uh, and uh, yeah, and you know, wash your hands, stay safe, uh, stay indoors. Um, you know, whatever things may happen, just, just stay safe. Uh, and also, um, another note: uh, feel free to donate me on Patreon. You know, I would greatly appreciate that. There's one guy who's single-handedly donating. His name is Alex Kortemeyer. I hope I pronounced that right, but thank you, thank you so much, Alex, for 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 donating. That's amazing. He's still like you know on my Patreon. He, this, this man is great. He's single-handedly saving my career. <laughs> Today we're going to be taking a look at how to create bullet trail particle effects. Well, more like bl bullet trail effects. So first of all, let's take a look at how it looks like. So here I have a basic scene set up, same project we had, and if you see here, if you see in the in the uh, in the scene view here, you'll notice. There's some really nice build particle effects. Uh, and that is what we're gonna do today. So yeah, without any further ado, let's get started, shall we? Right, so here we have a little basic bullet trail. What it is, is it uses the line renderer component uh, to create, uh, as it says, a line. So if I put it in the scene here, you can see, it doesn't do much here. Um, it has some values in the inspector view, which we have uh, two positions. So we have two positions. We have a starting position, we have an ending position. You can make more complex shapes with this if you want, if you had more positions. And then it has a basic material, which is really just something that I took out of the um, uh, particles, uh, particle systems that you get as a standard asset package. I will be including this uh, in, in a whole package, including with the textures and the materials and everything. Uh, and then finally, it has something called line fade. So if you take a, take a look at this, this is a very basic component. What it does is on the update method, not the most efficient, I know, but all it does is it goes on and it lerps it. So basically it takes the color value. That's all for the line fade component. Now moving on to the weapon component. This is supposed to be, you know, public line renderer, bullet trail, you already saw that. But yeah, we already have the bullet trail. This is going to be our line renderer component, um, which we are going to actually spawn. We're gonna to go to our fire method, and this is where we're actually going to spawn this. We can create a method to keep the things uh, nice and clean, so, so we can keep this separate. So we can just call this private void uh, spawn bullet trail uh, in the if statement of the raycast. So if we hit something, then we're going to spawn this. Uh, technically, you can make it spawn uh, if you don't hit anything as well. We're going to first of all spawn it. So game object uh, bullet trail effect equals instantiate, and we're going to instantiate the bullet, which was bullet trail. That game object, and then the position is going to be. Uh, we need two points, starting and ending point position. So if you spawn this right now, it's going to be uh, at the origin, no matter where its actual position is. Uh, but yeah, line renderer which is, uh, we're going to call this uh, line render for the sake of, or line R, I don't know, for the sake of, you know, variable naming. This is not a good name. Please read clean code if you can. That will definitely give you a better idea how to name variables. <laughs> Bullet trail effect dot get component line renderer. So that's just going to fetch the component from it. And then we're going to say set position, set position uh, zero. So the zero, the, the first position we set, the first position is going to be our shoot point dot position. So where the gun's shoot point is. And the second position is going to be our uh, actual hit position. So here's what we need to do. We need to actually give it some sort of a variable. So I'm not sure if you've done this. Have you done this before? We haven't. So basically methods can also have uh, 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 parameters that they can take in. In this case, this method is going to take in a parameter of a vector three, um, which is going to be uh, a hit position or rather a hit point. Um, so you can pass variables through uh, into methods um, or pass pra uh, pass values into methods and you can make use of that. So here what we're going to do is we're going to pass uh, something called, uh, so our raycast, wherever our raycast ended up hitting, wherever our bullet ended up hitting is going to be our hit dot point because hit is the raycast hit and the physics of raycast uh, stores our hit position, our hit normal, all that stuff. So we're going to pass in the point which we just hit and then we're going to make use of this point, and we're going to set this as our second position. So the first position is our the, the, the barrel of the gun, and the second position is where the bullet actually landed. 
Uh, and that is about it. That's it. We're done. Um, and then finally, we can dispose of this object by saying destroy bullet trail effect. Uh, sorry, uh, bullet trail effect. Uh, maybe one second. I don't know. Might might be too less. I don't know. But yeah. Um, so we can go to our weapon here now. And you will notice that I already have it assigned because, you know, I had it before, but typically it would be like this, and you would just drag and drop your bullet trail into the line renderer, and then when you press play, hopefully this works. Boom! It works. And you can see in, in you know, on the, in the hierarchy, it spawns in and it removes itself. Also, a bonus clip. Here is something that I'm thinking of making a tutorial on. What do you guys think? Let me know. So there's an AI, if it can look at you, if it sees you in sight, it shoots at you. Uh, otherwise, it follows you and uses the same gun system that we have so we don't have to recode any weapon system. Uh, once it runs out of bullets, you'll see it just tries to reload. Same animation, remember? Amazing. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this potential next tutorial. Maybe, you know, maybe, right? That's about this, uh, it for this video. Um, that was a really short tutorial. I might cut this out a bit, but yeah. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. So if you guys like my videos, please feel free to leave a comment and like. And I'm going to say all the stuff that a YouTuber is supposed to say. Uh, do subscribe because, you know, I definitely, definitely do want to grow. And uh, feel free to check out my Patreon to donate me. I would really appreciate that. And also my Fiverr if you have any work for me. Um, uh, that would be amazing, you know. I'd, I'd love to work for you. Uh, and that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.